clear words. Uh, before we go into the audience, uh, like I know you wanted to jump in here quickly. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think um, that, of course, um, the achievements of Europe had been uh, quite impressive. And in my view, uh, the biggest uh, achievement was to cut our dependency from Russia on oil and gas, because oil and gas have hijacked our Russian policy, something which had been denied by a certain number of member states. But I have to say that those member states, and you know the one I'm referring to, has dramatically changed its, uh, its position, and it's a huge achievement, uh, which needs to be, uh, to be uh, noticed. Now, we, there are obviously many issues in the future, and the role and the strategic responsibility of Europe is going to be a key question for the future of our security. <coughs> Indeed, NATO is absolutely crucial, and Mr. Putin made it larger, but still, NATO in itself is not going to be the solve the problems of the security of Europe, meaning that Europeans need to take more responsibility, not against NATO, but even within NATO, but we need to have a strong European pillar without NATO, capable, capable of dealing with what the uh, French military said, to be prepared to a war of high intensity in Europe. And this, is going to, this war is going to have sea change on the perception and the strategic perception of our security. But indeed, we need to take more responsibility. Europe taking more responsibility, I think, is something that Washington also is, is very receptive to as far as um, it, it's a uh, constant plea in previous years for Europeans to step up to the plate is concerned. That is certainly music to Washington's ears.